It's easier for people not to be a respecter of persons when you're on the poor end of things, when you're not holding authority, when you're not, you know, it's easier to see more clearly, I think. Now, some people are still blinded, and they, they, have the, they, they elevate people higher than they should and can still have a respecter of persons mindset. But normally, I think it's, it, people are more grounded because they're more humble when you're on the lower end of the spectrum, right? And you may have, if you're in that, that position, you probably have already experienced respecters of persons in judgments against you, right? So, it's, so those people that fall into that category, it's not as, it's, it, you know, this is kind of like, duh, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, this happens, this happens all the time. But it's as you get into different positions, this is one of the reasons why I'm preaching this is because it's important for everybody, you know, whether you maybe throughout your lifetime start to gain wealth, or maybe you, you, you attain different positions, even within your workplace, yeah. right? You become a manager, you, you end up being promoted to some position. This is a principle that applies everywhere. This isn't just, well, I'm never going to be a judge in the, you know, on the Supreme Court or whatever, so who cares? No, this judgment happens all the time in our lives. So we want to make sure we have righteous judgment no matter what that may be. In Ephesians chapter 6, we're actually going to see an, an example here of someone who's, no, you know, the Bible calls, you know, masters and servants. You, we can think of it as a boss and employee. Right, because that's really what it is. There's someone answering to someone else. Someone's in a position of authority. They're the ones that determine, you know, what what's going on with their with their servant or their employee. Um, and, and God tells us how to deal with that, as uh, on both both sides of the spectrum. Look at verse number five in Ephesians six. Bible reads: Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters, according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart, as unto Christ. So saying, hey, you know what? If you're on the lower end there, you're a servant. Be obedient. Serve, right? As if you're serving the Lord. Serve them like you're serving Jesus Christ. You know, be content. Don't, don't be uh, bitter or, or, you know, not appreciative of just where you're at in your life. Hey, just be a servant and be a good servant. And, and you know what? God's going to have respect to that instead of you being full of pride and thinking, you, you know, I deserve so much more and I shouldn't be a servant and everything else. Look, just, just be the servant. And let God, let someone else elevate you and let someone else give you honor and let someone else lift you up. Verse number six, not with eye service as men pleasers. So he's still talking to the servant, you know, don't be the guy that's just, I'm only going to work hard when someone's watching me. Well, you work hard all the time. Don't worry about when the boss is watching you or not. You should be able to just always be doing a good job and you don't have to worry about anything. But as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart with good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men. He mentioned this like three times. Look, it's like you're working for God. Remember this. When you go to work as a servant, work like you're working for the Lord. That's the way that you ought to be working. That is the Christian way. That's going to give you a good testimony. And um, you know what? If you're, if you're doing that type of work, there's nothing more that you can do. So if someone's going to be a respecter of a person, hey, at least you know I have integrity and I'm doing righteousness. And if someone's going to give righteous judgment, then I know that I've done right. But see, if you're working as a man pleaser, as you're just for eye service, just when they're working, you know what? Then maybe if you get, if you get judged, you'll be like, oh, well, he's only working when the boss is looking. He's not working. He's slacking off and taking naps or whatever, you know, when, when someone's not around and abusing the time, then you know what? You're going to get judged and, and don't complain when, when, you, when you get a judgment coming down and, uh, because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing.